A very close call for a family pet in New Hampshire. A dog chased and nearly attacked by coyotes. The pit bull's owner knew something was wrong when he heard those cries from outside. He ran to see what was happening and spotted the wild animals. And tonight he tells Ken McLeod he's warning neighbors to be on the lookout. As Harley stared warily toward the woods tonight with her brother Chevy close behind, their owner recalled the close encounter. They, they almost got her, but luckily she was pretty quick, so. Doug Anderson is talking about Monday morning when his deck security camera caught a pair of coyotes trying to make breakfast out of Harley in the backyard. <laughs> Screaming, crying, running up the back deck and bolting through the doggy door. The yelping sent Doug scrambling outside from his kitchen with only a brief stop to check Harley for wounds. She's running in, I'm running out. Jumped out on the back deck real fast and saw two coyotes just sitting out there in the yard. Doug's pretty sure the coyotes were watching from the woods as both dogs romped in the backyard, but they didn't make their move until one dog went back inside and they had a two on one advantage. Chow time, pretty much. <laughs> he can laugh about it now because Harley doesn't have a scratch. When they came up behind her, she turned and snapped at him just out of fear and then. I think he just, they just stopped because she was going for the house. The coyotes quickly vanished, and Doug quickly posted this video on Facebook, warning neighbors that if his 55 pound pit bull wasn't safe, they should keep a close eye on their pets. They get pretty close to her. Close enough that some locals have suggested hunting the coyotes, which is legal in New Hampshire year round. I don't think it's a bad thing, but well, it is what it is. But for now, Harley is simply treading carefully. Calm down a little bit for the past day or so. She's uh, been a little more skittish going outside. The tale, however, says she'll get over it. In Litchfield, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.